today I have a gift guide for you guys. So most of us are thinking about gifting at this point in November and us clever ones when it comes to the bigger purchases or the more luxury gifting are looking to save some money around this Black Friday weekend, Cyber Monday weekend. So in today's video, I'll be sharing 11 luxury gift ideas that I believe, in my opinion, are worth the money, worth the hype and are timeless pieces, so to speak. Okay guys, quick disclaimer, I understand that everybody has different budget styles and this video is not going to include those little purchases, those stocking pillows, nothing of the sort. So continue watching this video. If you're looking to spend a little bit more money on that special gift for that special someone, then this video is for you. So we've got a lot to get through in this video, so make sure you've got your cozy blankets your favourite drink, all the snacks, and if you'd like to drop anything from this video, I will leave everything we talk about in today's video down in the description box down below. So make sure you take advantage of those links. If there's any discount codes, I will leave them there as well. So everything is totally organised. So we're starting off strong with a handbag from Teddy Blake, New York. And I'm really proud to say that this part of the video is kindly sponsored by Teddy Blake. So she is the gorgeous Ava bag in Stampato pebbled leather with gold hardware. Here she is in all of her glory. And some of you might remember last year when I unboxed this handbag. Now, if you're a regular on my channel, you'll know I love the smell of leather goods. This is gorgeous. And you know what? A year on, she still has a gorgeous smell of leather. The quality and craftsmanship and the quality control, because we've been talking about that lately on my channel, haven't we, is second to none. Teddy Blake really know what they are doing when it comes to affordable luxury handbags. I mean, just look at her. She is stunning. She's one of my favourite handbags. In fact, I always reach for her if I'm going out, out. I know we're doing the renovation and we have been doing for the last six months, so I've not been using her quite as much as I normally would. But if I've gone out, out, she has been my bag of choice. You will have seen her on my Instagram throughout the year. She's the perfect size. She is the perfect colour, neutral colour. So she goes with absolutely everything in my wardrobe. And you can top handle her. You can crossbody her. She has a crossbody strap as well. I love to use both. In fact, they're my most favourite handbags with a top handle and a crossbody as well. Obviously, the crossbody is detachable here. I like to leave her open. That's just my personal preference. But the hardware is just beautiful. I put my stuffing back in to keep her shape if she's not being used. But that's what she looks like inside. She fits everything you could possibly need. She'll fit your phone, your card wallet, your keys, everything you could possibly need, including makeup and things like that. And yeah, I don't have a problem with space. I love the gold hardware. She's even got little feet on the bottom there. So your gorgeous Italian leather doesn't get ruined when you are standing her up on the table. Now is a really good time actually to do a one year bag review. Like how has she held up? wear and tear and things like that. I'm always top handling her quite a lot. That's how I like to lift her around. And I just wanted to show you there's hardly any wear and tear on the bag. She is made beautifully. She's still in beautiful condition. Absolutely looks brand new. There's no scratching to the hardware at all. Even the feet on the bottom are obviously used but in really really good condition so now is the time to buy teddy blake are having their biggest sale of the year this black friday with up to 75 percent off on the website so i will leave my link in the description box down below and if you have any handbag lovers like me who you want to buy a special gift for this year, then this is a perfect choice. Obviously they have other bag styles and this is just my first Teddy Blake and I just wanted to have the opportunity to show her off again and just reiterate how gorgeous 
these bags are and how much they are worth the money and the hype and I'd just like to quickly thank Teddy Blake and their team for sponsoring this part of the video. Okay, number two, we have the iconic vintage Roberts radio. So I've had my Roberts radio for how long now? Nearly four years, I would say. I got it the first Christmas in our first house and hubby gifted me this. It was on my wish list. I just knew that I wanted the iconic vintage radio in the kitchen as part of my aesthetic. Now the only thing I'm going to say negative about this and it's my fault I did choose the wrong colour if I was choosing a radio again I would choose the cream it just goes with my aesthetic more in this house but obviously times change don't they but cream is a timeless neutral colour and it will go with everything so you can change your decor around the radio the radio will always stay the same whereas I went for the grey I think this is called the dove gray it's like it's still beautiful and it still works in the house it's got gold hardware and she is well used like i am always listening to classic fm which she's probably going to come on now oh it's hubby changed the radio station <laughs> i'm going to turn it off because obviously no it was on classic i'm going to turn it off because we don't want to get copyrighted but she comes with obviously a plug so you can plug her in in the kitchen if you're leaving her in situ but if you want to carry her around in the garden things like that and she's just beautifully vintage isn't she i just think everyone should have a roberts radio so yeah if you've got any home bodies to buy for this year people who love the home interior who love their aesthetic or even a gardener if they haven't already got a roberts radio double check because they're very popular <laughs> and yeah that's a great gift idea to buy and like I said mine is now four years old and I still love her just as much as when I got her and yeah she's timeless isn't she okay number three is my Soho house robe again this is now four years old she's still as fluffy as ever the best most luxury bathrobe you will ever have against your skin I call it Soho Rob season, but she comes out every autumn, winter, and I just live in her around the house. And yeah, I've got it in this gorgeous uh, teddy colour, but they do come in other colours. I think they come in white. I'll link them down below so you can have a look. They come in other colours. It's got a gorgeously large hood. It's like a maxi length, so I'm lifting it up here. It actually goes on forever. It's just lovely. It's just like a really luxury hug. <laughs> This is now four years old. It washes really well. The quality, the craftsmanship, and I just love anything to do with Soho House. It's got that luxury, rustic vibe, timeless country vibes. It's just everything I love in a brand. It's held up really well. It washes really well. It's still as fluffy as ever four years later. So when it comes to the price, yes, it retails for about, I think, 95 it's worth it when you think about cost per use. Like four years running, I've been wearing this robe. So if you've got anyone who's just had a baby or a homebody like me, loves to be at home and cosy, this is the perfect gift. So number four is fine jewellery. So I have quite the collection now from Monica Vinader. Oh my God, when I tell you this jewellery is just stunning it's an understatement i wear it all the time in fact let me pop them down i'll show you guys my bracelet that i've got on at the moment i will also individually link these down below i always include these in the videos because i get asked quite a lot um what bracelet i'm wearing this one is my current bracelet i love rose gold i always go for the rose gold but they do do um white gold and just your general yellow gold as well so i did have the matching ring unfortunately i lost it in transit on the way to cuba or in cuba or one of the two last 
was it January or February we was in Cuba? Anyway, unfortunately I lost it. Now my other bracelet, I'm having a break from it at the moment, but I'm, I must admit, they're, they're all gorgeous pieces. I love them all, but this one is my favourite. It's this gorgeous charm bracelet. Now I don't wear it with any charms. I just like the links on its own, really simple. I'm a very simple girl. But again, it's in a rose gold and it's this chunky, chain link altar bracelet they do this in a matching necklace as well um but yeah you'll have to have a look on the website but how gorgeous is that and i get asked the most questions about this one in particular i'm just having a break from it at the moment because i just needed to switch it up i'm always wearing this one you see so yeah that's that also i have to show you guys the packaging it's just beautiful it's like a chocolate cherry rich packaging it's got these gorgeous like little ribbon pulls and i've said it before on my channel but i love a luxury unboxing and my gosh does this feel like something special when you receive it and you're opening it so you open it up like this it's got this little drawer pull and then inside is this gorgeous suede blue pouch and you open it up like this and then inside is your jewellery. I've got to think about bracelets. I like to wear one bracelet and one watch and that's my thing. That's my combination. I know the people like loads of bracelet stacks. I'm just not like a massive like all at once jewellery. I mean, I love my collection, but I like to switch it out and I wear minimal pieces at a time. This was my first bracelet from Monica Vinader and it's this gorgeous yellow gold bangle. I've got a thing about bangles in particular as well. And it's got this chain detail on. I've had some of these pieces now for a couple of years. I wear them on rotation every single day. I shower with my bracelets on. I don't really take them off at night or anything like that. They hold up really, really well. They're definitely worth the money. And I think they're doing Black Friday sales this year. So I'll link these pieces down below, but they also do other things. They do rings, necklaces, bracelets. Make sure you go and take advantage of Monica Vinader's Black Friday sales. They're my favourite jewellery brand. Okay, so this one, number five, is for my beauty girlies. So the girlies who love a pamper, love the beauty treatments, the spa treatments, things like that. Well, have I got something special for you. So this is my IPL device. I can't remember what IPL stands for. I'll leave it at the bottom. Okay, I'm not the best at explaining how things work, like technically speaking, but in layman's terms, this zaps the hair follicles, whether it's under your armpit, on your bikini line, even on your face, on your moustache, if you've got one. <laughs> it zaps your hair follicles, and over time, with regular use, the hair follicle eventually dies off and stops growing completely. So, oh my God, game changer. So these laser hair removal systems are available in salons and you have to pay per session to have this done. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't want to be getting my hoo-ha out in a salon for someone to like zap. I'd rather do it at home. They are quite expensive, but when you compare to regular salon sessions, the saving is massive. So this is the perfect gift, not only for someone who loves a pamper and a salon treatment, it's also an investment. Number six, we have coffee table books. This, again, another Soho house purchase and it's my favourite coffee table book. This was on my wish list for quite some time and I've had it for a few years now. It's the Soho House Eat, Drink, Nap. It's got beautiful imagery of the Soho Houses. It's got this linen cover. So this one in particular is the perfect gift idea for someone who loves home interiors mixed with really slow country living as well as i would say um culinary um food is it's the perfect gift i am looking for the louis vuitton 
coffee table book. This one in particular, this has been on my wish list for quite some time. I nearly bought it last year from the Louis Vuitton website. However, I've had a little look and I can't find it there anymore. So I'll have to have a proper search around the internet for it. But yeah, that one's on my wish list. I like the cover and everything. Louis Vuitton is my favourite designer brand of all time i just love the colors i love the monogram i love the old trunk style this louis vuitton book is next on my wish list of coffee table books so to speak how nice would that look in the family room downstairs on the coffee table <gasps> Okay, so number seven is for the beauty makeup girlies, Charlotte Tilbury. I got really into my Charlotte Tilbury just before we moved house, actually, and then my priorities changed because we had a renovation to pay for. Therefore, I was looking for all the Charlotte Tilbury dupes. So this is the airbrush bronzer. And as you can see, it's massive. It comes in this gorgeous rose gold. I just love the Charlotte Tilbury packaging. Again, it's that luxury experience and unboxing. And let me just show you this. That's how much I've got left. I can't remember when I bought this, but I think it was about a year and a half ago. It's definitely lasted me over a year at this point. And I just love it because it goes a long way. And if you've got a makeup girlie that you're buying for, then she's going to love her bronzer for sure. Literally, that is the most gorgeous on the go mirror for your handbag. So yeah, I really think this product in particular is worth the spend. Okay, number eight is another timeless classic. This is a fragrance from Dior. It is the J'adore scent. And I got this for my birthday last year. There's still loads left in this big bottle. And I just think it's one of those timeless classic scents. You know the ones, the ones that have been around forever, the timeless classics for a reason. So every year on my birthday, my husband buys me a new signature scent, I call it, and I use it throughout the year. This was this year's signature scent, so I wanted to include it in this video. I love it. I have another birthday coming up in January, so I'm thinking already of my next year's signature scent. What might I like? I might go for, and I've heard good things about it. Let me know in the comments if you've tried this one, but I'm interested in the Jo Malone Mer and Tonka, I think it's called. So number nine is home fragrance. Now, I have only tried this one in store just recently in Manchester and it quickly went on to my wish list. So I'm going to include it in today's video and that is the Rituals Reed Diffusers. And just recently in a video, I mentioned that we're about £200. I tell a lie. It's about 70 quid. It is quite a giant reed diffuser though. Really, really nice. And the scent is gorgeous. It was in fact the giant candles that were about £200. I think it might have been more than that actually. So the scent I'm most interested in is the Black Oud. They also had one and it was, I think it was a jasmine scent. That one was really nice as well, but I'll link both of them in the description box down below. The perfect gift for somebody who loves the house like me. And yeah, I'm hoping to have one of them in my house really soon. Okay, so number 10 is another item from my own personal wish list. But if you've got anyone who loves organization like I do, like literally my life falls apart without my daily planner. I just love it. So to justify it, I use it every single day. And yeah, on my wish list is the LV Agenda. I'm looking at particularly the bigger one because that's the kind of size that I like. And once you've bought the LV Agenda, like that's it for life because the inserts you can buy off Etsy, like they do yearly inserts and planners and obviously they go inside. So yeah, that would be a dream to have the LV agenda. Bear in mind, you guys, I do have a luxury wish list, like it's constantly ongoing. If you remember last year's Christmas videos, I mentioned, and I nearly bought it, the Marc Jacobs tote bag. 
it was like in tan in particular I was looking for. It was on my wish list for quite some time. It did get deleted from the wish list because in the end, I just didn't want the writing, which was very, very large on the bag. I would have preferred a more minimal. It like screamed, Mark Jacobs taught, and it just wasn't a bit of me. So yeah, that went off the wish list. But like I said, my wish list, things come on there and then they go off there and I just edit it regularly. Some of the things I'll never buy into, they're just things that I want and that just helps me regulate what I'm spending my money on and if I really want that item or not. And yeah, that's why I love having a wish list. I recommend anybody having a wish list. It doesn't have to be a luxury wish list. It just helps to regulate the spending and things like that. If you'd like me to do a video on my wish lists, then leave it in the comments down below and I'll make sure to film that one for you. And finally, number 11 is experiences. All these material things do not mean anything. It's the memories we create and who we create them with. And I think, to be honest with you, experiences are the best present ever. Websites like Woucher and Groupon are great for experiences. They have things on there to suit every single budget. They have like paintballing sessions for groups. They have like spa days. Me and Joelle have just done a spa day just recently. What a lovely day that was. They also have hotel stays. They even do holidays at great prices. I will leave a couple of options in the description box down below. Make sure you check that out. And that brings us to the end of this video. It's been a long one, you guys. I'm still having problems with my memory. So I'm going to wrap it up here and I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Bye, guys.